Greetings everyone and welcome to the first question of US examination mathematics 2 section. For this question we have chosen a question that came up on US examination in the year 2014. Now let's see what the question asks us and what is the process we need to follow to get to the right answer. In this question we have what is the remainder when px is equal to x to the power of 6 plus 2x to the power of 4 minus x to the power of 3 plus x minus 1 is divided by x to the power of 3 minus 2. Now, when you are dealing with these kinds of questions, what do you do? Instead of going directly to divide this expression with this expression, there is another easier way how to do it. And all we have to do is just equal uh, equalize this to zero because by doing so we will get the value of x to the power of three of three and everything else will become very easy so let's do that we have x to the power of three minus two we equal it to zero so x to the power of three equals to two now as we know the value of x to the power of three all we have to do is to see what are uh, what are the other ways we can write x to the power of 6, x to the power of 4, x to the power of 3 we already have and uh, because as we do so we will try to simplify this expression and to get to the value of x to the power of 3 so instead of writing x to the power of 3 we can easily substitute to, uh, for its value so let's do that we have px so I'm just this, uh, I'm just uh, writing it again, so we have x to the power of 6 plus 2x to the power of 4 minus x to the power of 3 plus x minus 1. So what is another way of writing x to the power of 6? It's x to the power of 3 all to the power of 2 plus 2. Uh, what is another way uh, of writing x to the power of 4? It's x to the power of 3 times x minus x to the power of 3 plus x minus 1. Now we just substi uh, substitute uh, the, uh, for the value of x to the power of 3. So here we have 2 to the power of 2 plus 2 times 2 times x minus 2 plus x minus 1. So we have 4 plus, we have 4x minus 2 plus x minus 1. And this is all equal to, we have 4x plus x, it's 5x. 4 minus 2 is min uh, it's 2 minus 1 it's 1 so we have 5x plus 1 so when this expression is divided by this expression this is the result welcome to second question in this question we have px is equal to 0 and px stands for this expression which is 2a minus b times x to the power of 3 plus b minus 4 times x to the power of 2 minus a plus b minus 2c and we are asked to find the value of c now what do we do here for example since we know that the uh, the value of px is equal to 0 we have to equal each part of this expression to 0 so we have to make this part equal to 0 and, and we have to do that separately separately for each part of this expression so we have to equalize this part with zero this part as well and this part as well so let's start we have 2a minus b equals to zero because by doing so we will respect the condition that was given to us which is px equals to zero so 2a equals to b now we do the same thing for this part so we have b minus 4 equals to 0 so b is equal to 4 as soon as we found the value of b which equals to 4 we can apply it in this part so we have 2a which is equal to 4 so a is equal to 2 now we found the value of a and b and it's time to find the value of c so we do the same thing for this part as well so we have minus a plus b minus 2c equals to 0 so for minus a we just apply minus 2 plus b is 4 minus 2c equals to 0 so minus 2 plus 4 it's 2 equals to 2c when uh, when c changes its side uh, its side uh, also it changes its sign so c is equal to 1 welcome to the third question in this question we have if m is greater than 0 and m minus 6 over m equals 1 what is the value of m as the first step we try to find the common uh, denominator so we have the common denominator is m because we know that the denominator for m is always equal to 1 if it's not given so uh, m 
so we have m squared minus 6 and all this equals to 1 so we multiply uh, we cross multiply so we have mx minus 6 equals m so we have m squared minus m minus 6 equals to 0 so as you can see we cross multiplied we came m squared minus 6 equals m and after that we just put the m on this side and we equalized this to 0 so what do we do in this case we know that m times m equals m squared so what is the value or how 6 should be written that when we multiply it gives us minus 6 and also when we add these two factors of 6 it will give us minus 1 so we have minus 3 and we have 2 because 2 times minus 3 is minus 6 minus 3 plus 2 it gives us minus 1 now what does this mean it means that m minus 3 times m plus 2 equals 0 so this is another way of writing this quadratic expression so from here we understand that m equals to 3 and also m equals to minus 2 but we have the condition that m must be greater than 0 so for this question the value of m is equal to 3